Hello again, SA Prayer Net. God bless you. Listen, I'm so glad that you're taking this time and allowing me to share this with you because I do believe that I have something significant that the Lord shared with me that I would like to share with you. And that is this, and we hear this oftentimes, and that's that judgment starts in the house of the Lord. We know that, and sometimes when we hear that, we just sometimes just tense up. But understand this, is that when God says judgment starts in the house of the Lord, it does not mean that he always wants to bring judgment as in as in bringing the hammer, but sometimes it's judgment as in bringing the correction. And that's one of the things that I'm sensing because I believe that God is also bringing revival. We, Many of us, we believe that and we know that. And so I want us to pray for the spiritual leaders because sometimes as spiritual leaders, because so many things happen, you can get knocked off course a little bit. And then sometimes you can actually make ministry about yourself instead of about the kingdom. And many times the devil would have spiritual leaders fooled and thinking I'm doing kingdom work when really it's starting to transition or turn into ministry that's about them and it becomes a self-serving. When this happens, it hurts the people. And then once it hurts the people, then the people begin to run away from church. They don't want to have anything to do with it because they're hurt. They don't want to be disappointed. And then they've experienced bad authority in their life already up until that point. Now, I want you to know this, is that God loves the church. He loves the church. He sent, his, he sent his son for the church. And I know that many of us, we say that we are the church. I want you to know this, though, is that even though we are the church, it's not about the building, it's about the people. We are the church. But you, by yourself, as an individual, you're not the church. Now, the reason I can say that is because you're a house, and the house will be unto itself. But the church, when you look it up, it's a body or a group of believers. And the Bible tells us not to neglect that. However, there's a problem that happens because when spiritual leaders move into this realm of being self-serving, it makes people want to run away from the church. And then really what it ultimately does is scattering the sheep, which God doesn't want. So here's the prayer targets that I want us to pray. Number one, I want us to pray for the pastors, pray that we continue to stay in the place that we're serving God and serving the kingdom of God and not ourselves. Number two, that we begin to move or that we understand, spiritual leaders understand the importance of discipleship. When you look at discipleship, discipleship is not about a group of people being around you, but it's about training and bringing up people to follow the ways of Christ, to walk as, to walk as Christ walked to do as Christ did. And now for that to happen, then the people, they cannot be afraid of the church or what's going to happen to them when they come to church. So also for those old wounds that people carry that cause them to run away from the church, I want you to pray for them that they will be healed of those wounds and that they will understand the significance of church because the Bible says this, it says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. And so we have to get it together from top to bottom because the world is taking advantage of this time when we're not walking and we're not operating properly as the church that God has called us to operate. So I want us to pray for the church, pray for the spiritual leaders, pray for the people that's in the church that God is grooming to continue on the work and to also become spiritual leaders themselves. And then also pray this, pray that people will be healed of their wounds that they experienced when they were in the church that they don't throw away what God still loves and what God is still going to use. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for allowing me to share this time with you. And I look forward to sharing the next thing that God gives me for you.